In this video, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to remove the background in your footage in DaVinci Resolve Studio. If you're new here, hi, I'm Allie. Will and I release weekly videos all about DaVinci Resolve. To stay in the loop, subscribe to our channel. Now, let's hop in there. There are a few different ways you can do this, but by far the easiest way that works the best in my opinion is the Fusion page. And I know that a lot of people shy away from it, but don't with this effect because it's super simple. Let's pop in there and with the media in node selected on your keyboard, hold down shift and your space bar to bring this tool search window up, type in magic mask, select it and hit add. There it is. Next in the inspector tab for stroke mode, make sure you have add selected and we'll make a selection of our subject only. You can either draw separate lines over the limbs and random parts of your subject. And sometimes this approach works best or you can draw over your subject in one long squiggly line like this to make your selection. If you have any random parts of your background still showing like this, grab the subtract eyedropper and make a little line or scribble over it. I'm going to hit this drop down menu and choose 200% to get a closer look here and select any other parts of my background that are showing through my selection. Okay, that didn't look too great. We can fix it by changing faster to better, which does what it says it does. Look at the difference that made around the edges. Just want to warn you, choosing better will likely slow down your computer. You can also use this refine range slider to adjust the sensitivity of the mask detection algorithm and fine tune your selection more. I tend to notice the best results when I keep it between 30 and 40. Go back to fit view. Next, let's choose this double arrow icon to track our selection forward and backwards. And this may take a while. So if you're looking for something to keep you busy while you wait, I highly recommend you check out our 14 must know tips video to maximize your productivity while you're editing. When your track's done, you'll know it's done because it will say finish down here. Let's pop back into the edit page and we can see we have our subject nice and masked with an empty background. Now you can do all sorts of things like put mountains behind your subject or text. Really the possibilities are endless. Oh, and just so you know, next week, I'm going to be releasing a tutorial showing you how to export your subject or text or really whatever with a transparent background. So subscribe to see that video when it comes out. I hope you have a lovely day. Thanks for checking this video out and we'll see you in another one.